Well, hello there. Welcome back to the 300 Project. Uh, engine's still not in the car, but you will notice that the interior has been totally gutted. So from a previous video, uh, I believe I told you guys that there's a leak on the bottom passenger side of the window. And years ago that made, before I took ownership of the car, it was taking on water in the carpet, mainly the back. So you could see on the passenger side I already have it wire wheeled. Driver's side, which was took the brunt of the damage, that hasn't been wire wheeled yet. So we decided to rip the carpet out, uh, get the headliner out of there. Now the headliner was in really good shape when I got the car, but the first winter I had it stored outside. A mouse got up there and chewed a hole through it right above the passenger side visor. So we took that out, took the opportunity to get everything out of here while we had it inside and it was dry and everything was good. Just assess this uh, damage, I guess you could say. It's really not bad. Um, I mean, it's some. there's definitely some rust from water getting in there years ago, but all in all, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, we're not gonna need to do any paneling or anything. Basically, the plan is to wire wheel it down, use some POR on some of the heavier rust areas, and then uh, paint the whole thing. So that's where we're at. I figured I'd give you an update. You know, non-engine related, but since we have it here, oh, those are my safety glasses. Since we have it here, we, you know, figured we'd get this done. What are you doing? Fixing valves. Valves? More valves. Oh, man. I know. Oh, no. All right, well, got it prepped. Finished wire wheeling it. Vacuumed it out, lacquer thinnered it. So now we got to put the POR on the bad spots, and then we're gonna paint it all, and that'll be the floor. Okay, so as you can see, we got the floor painted. Um, after water wheeling it, we coated it with uh, POR 15 on all the heavy rust spots. And what you're looking at now is a full coverage of Rust-Oleum. The color is aluminum, which is a close match to the actual color that was in there to start with. We got a nice little uh, package from Summit Racing, some dynamite we're going to throw down there, keep it quiet and cool. So that's where we're at here. So I'm going to have to put the dynamite down, carpet. We have to tackle a headliner. I think we're thinking about doing this vinyl roof. We're doing the vinyl roof first. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, Joe said it's actually like the way it's installed, you have to do the vinyl roof. So, yeah, that's where we're at with the interior. Okay, well, you've seen we got the floor all painted up. So now we're uh, installing the Dynamat. Order bulk pack on Summit Racing. So, we already got it up on the roof and now I'm starting to lay it down on the floor so I'm starting with the driver's side gonna work my way back then go with the passenger side just kinda cutting pieces out as I go trying to get like the big flat spots on the floor um, I gotta work around all the uh, body plugs so you know, I, there's no real science to it so I'm not going for like every it's not gonna be a, every square inch coverage it's just to keep the road noise down, maybe keep some of the heat from the exhaust system out, uh, from heat soaking up. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. You know, it should be nice. Keep it a little quieter inside the cabin when we're going down the road. And it's just, you know, since we got everything out, the floor's freshly painted, might as well take the opportunity to put down the Dynamat because you're not really going to get this opportunity again. So. Yeah, that's where we're at, you know, so pretty much wrapping up the inside as far as that goes. We're probably going to put the seats back in until I get a carpet and a headliner. They'll probably be coming a little while down the line. But for now, it's rust-free and clean, so pretty happy with it. All right, so I'm going to put more of this dynamite down. <laughs> 